is a really fun song to play. This is Spanish Two-Step by John Fahey that uh, he recorded under lots of different titles. And uh, it actually, oddly enough, it first was released on his, the best of John Fahey, having not been re released on any of his earlier studio albums. But I think it's something he'd been playing for a long time. And now, if you listen to it on that album, it's, he's a half step high. You could put a capo on, or he's just kind of out of tune. But he's tuned a little high. Um, not a big deal. But he performed it live many times, and there are all kinds of, of videos of him playing it. And uh, it went by different names. It also appeared on After the Ball, uh, which came out, so it, it, which was before the best of, I think. Um, and on that one, it was called Hawaiian Two Step. He uh, played it in Tasmania and then referred to it as Tasmanian Two Step. Uh, it doesn't seem to be related to the Spanish Two Step that Bob Wills did in the 1930s. At least I can't see the connection. Fahey claims that he didn't write this. It was just his own arrangement. But it's a it's a really cool tune. Um, open G tuning. Really unusual technique. That's what was going on there at pretty much on the second. Yeah, I guess it's the third beat of the fourth measure of almost each line. What we really have here are just. It also has one of his signature rolls. Let's do it this way. Which is, which is putting triplets in between quick, pretty quick beats. The song's moving along at about 180 beats, maybe 200. He always speeds up when he plays it, so it, it always ends faster than it started. That's, that's not necessarily a good thing. But um, anyway, this, this triplet roll, he plays with only two fingers and a thumb, with a thumb pick and two picks, two finger picks. And um, so pretty much doesn't like he doesn't use the third string very much in this song because most of the melody notes happen up on the, the top two strings and the bass notes because we're in open G um, I'm going back and forth between the fifth and fourth strings now again an open G tuning is done by tuning three of your strings that are not already notes in a G chord down to the nearest note in the G chord so our two E strings go down to D's so they match that D the B string stays where it is, the G string stays where it is, the D string stays where it is, and then the A string goes down to G. So we have our root, which means we barely use the sixth string. Matter of fact, in his studio recording of this, he never did hit the, the low D. Um, but the arrangement I've put together is kind of um, conglomerate, I guess, of some of the different ways he played it over the years. So I really encourage you to check out some of his live versions of this. Um, Anyway, there are plenty of them out there. So, uh, and, and so in those, in many of those, he pounds on the sixth string in the bass on every chord. Not intentionally and not knowing he was doing it. Okay. Mistakes, accidents happen. Anyway, so uh, really very simple chord progression. When I play the chord open, it's G. When I bar to the fifth fret, it's C. Chord four, when I move to the seventh fret, it's D. That's when a lot of times on the D that is in the, the last line of each part, I would shorten it and use the low D in the bass. Um, in, and in many of the live recordings, he used the low D on all the D chords, although even like I said, he used the low string on almost all of the chords. Anyway, uh, I think that's all the little details I want to give you about this, but we'll, we'll kind of break this down in, in a few. Oh, I want to talk a little bit more about that triplet roll. If you just keep your bass going back and forth, Usually we only play one note in between bass notes, and that would be on the and. But something, of, you know, common trick of Fahey's was this, or backwards. So practice that right there. I'm using my first two fingers on the first two strings, middle finger on the second on the first string, index finger on the second string. I would play this whole thing with only two fingers, even though I normally use three for what's going on. But to really get the the Fahey sound, and we don't have that many parts in this. Three sections, except except for two measures, all the sections are the same. Now you can also introduce all kinds of your own variations and embellishments. We'll talk about that a little bit later too. So. Okay, coming up, a lesson on John Fahey's Spanish two-step. <laughs> 